Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I wanted to do a video today about uh, the Diva Curl method and getting a Diva cut at a salon with a certified stylist. I wanted to do a video on sort of the run through if you've never had a Diva cut before and then what to expect um, when you're going to a salon and getting your hair cut. So the first question is, what is a Diva cut? And I looked it up on naturallycurly.com and I'm going to quote it. The Diva cut was created by Diva Shan, I believe it's, it's D-E-V-A-C-H-A-N, salon, and is a special technique for cutting curly, wavy, or coily hair. The cut is created on dry hair so the stylist sees how each curl will fall and each individual curl is shaped. So that is around the lines of what a Diva cut is. So there are hundreds of stylists out there getting certified that have already been certified in different levels of cutting curly hair. I will link it down below. It's the Diva Curl Stylist Finder and you can search your area, places that are close to you and different levels of stylists that can cut your curly hair for you. On the site you'll find that there are three levels of stylist certification. There's the Inspired, which is the first level, Advanced, and then the top level is Certified. So now we're on to the best part, and which is actually getting your diva cut. You want to find someone that's um, near your area or something that you feel comfortable with and go in for a consultation. So you can make an appointment and maybe it's a couple weeks in advance, but ask for a consultation if you've never been to the salon before or if you've never met the stylist so that you are prepared and know what to expect when you first go in because if you go in and you've never had a curly haircut before and you you know that you've been to a salon and you get a haircut and you hate it and you're like, why did I do this? So prepare and go in for a consultation, most likely from whatever, from all the appointments I've made, consultations are free. You just make sure you go in for, you know, 10 to 15 minutes, talk with your stylist about what you're looking for and kind of pick their brain about what they know about curly hair, how they've been certified, maybe what level they are and how many curly hairs they've cut. And possibly they have a Facebook or an Instagram that you can check out and sort of see what they do with cutting hair. And at that point, you can decide, do I actually want to stick with this style as my appointment or go with someone else and then do the whole thing over again? Do your research because this is your hair. And if you want to be happy and find someone that's going to cut your hair that you can stick with and you're going to be happy with, do it. Ask questions. So on your appointment day, most likely they will let you know that they want you to come in with your natural hair. They, I've had experiences where they come in or where they ask you to come in with your hair natural and you can put product in. Um, for the most part, I don't shampoo on that day if I um, want to come with my natural hair because they'll shampoo for you. Um, so just do your regular routine with your conditioner but don't shampoo or cleanse your hair that day. And go on with your natural hair. So some will ask you to come in completely natural. I've read that before where they want to really see what your hair does and that's freaky to not have any gel or product or mousse or anything in your hair but some will ask you know you can do it in preference if you want to put gel or cream in so let's ask them if they want supernatural or if they want to have product in it's just up to the stylist themselves so of course when you go in um, they're gonna sit you down and you're gonna talk through what you're looking for ask questions if you didn't go through your consultation um, Either you guys have a predetermined idea of what you want, how your hair works, what they do, how they cut it, um, or if it's just, you know, you're going in for your first time and you just want to go in and not have a consultation, that's fine too. Talk to your stylist, ask them questions, figure out um, what they're going to do with your hair. Say, I like the length, but I want layers, or um, I want to put in highlights but I want to take off just a little bit on the ends where I want bangs or something like that. But ask questions, talk to them because they can't read your mind. <laughs> so if you want something, talk about it and they'll either agree with you or maybe they'll give you a suggestion. Maybe that's not the right cut for curly hair or your hair type. So talk, talk, talk. So once you guys have agreed on something, they're going to start cutting and there's no pre-washing, which is really awesome, and it's the dry cutting like I explained before. They're going to cut and style your hair dry because there's no extra drying process where they can't see how much your hair is going to grow, I guess, when it dries. Because if some people have, you know, your hair down to here and then it shrinks up to here once you get it cut, and some people have here and it goes up to here. So having it dry, they're going to cut it, and it's awesome because you're going to be able to see your hair transform before your eyes as they're cutting it, you're gonna see it 
it's gonna get frizzy because they're working with your hair and it's gonna get big so don't be discouraged but just know that you're gonna get the shape that you want because they're cutting this way and this style so you're, it's, you're gonna see it transform it's gonna be big but just wait so after the initial cut you're gonna go in and they're gonna wash your hair now and this one's everyone's favorite part of course because you're gonna get a little tiny massage in there and like I said before if you can go without shampooing or cleansing your hair do that so that it's not overly cleansed because you know we like to go a little bit of time in between cleansing our hair to get your curls in that nat nice natural state so they're gonna cleanse it for you they're gonna put in all these conditioners for you and most likely they're gonna hopefully use um, some kind of line that has the sulfate free and the paraben free so make sure to talk to them before they wash your hair if you are on the curly girl method so that it doesn't ruin all your extra levels and things like that with your hair so depending on your new hair length they can either when you get out of the washing chair they're gonna flip you over they're gonna put a towel right here for you because it's gonna be dripping wet and if you have long hair like you know a little bit longer to like up here and longer they're gonna have you get up out of the chair they're gonna put a towel on the floor for you they're gonna have you flip your hair upside down and this is where they're gonna kind of finger comb your hair and put in the product for you and scrunch it up while your hair is sopping wet if you have short hair like me and you can't really flip it because there's not much to flip they're really just gonna put a shoulder on you and probably lead you back to the styling chair and then that's where they're gonna put in the product for you finger comb it put it in the position that you want um, the people with the long hair they're gonna put in your product have you flip back over bring you to the chair and then clip up your hair with the uh, diva curl clips to um, I guess they don't have to be diva curl clips that's just what I use the, uh, the clips to put in your hair give you some volume and let it set same thing with the short hair people put in your product they're gonna clip you up for you and then put you in the chair in my experience for the salons that I've been to with stylists that have the um, diva curl trained background they have chairs that have like this dome kind of thing that they're gonna put over your head so it's a dome I'll put in a picture so that you can see what I'm talking about it's a dome and I'll put the dryer the dryers already there but the blow dryer on top of it so it sort of spreads over your entire head so that when you when they when they turn the blow dryer on it'll get really warm around your head and dry your hair without touching it so they don't have to use a diffuser they can if they want to if that's something you're interested in or you can let it air dry of course um, but if they use that they're gonna sit on your head and from my experience having short hair it takes about 15 minutes when I had really long hair it took about 30 to 45 minutes so definitely expect that and they will come around every once in a while just to check on your hair they're gonna make sure it's nice and getting dry for you make sure it's not too hot let them know if it's too hot um, but this is the part where you can relax and just kind of let your air hair, <laughs> hair dry and it's no touching so there's no frizz being involved it's not getting fluffy it's just the the product is drying in your hair and your hair is setting so this is the best part once your hair is mainly dried they're gonna go ahead and take you away from the dryer put you back in their chair and this is where it's gonna be revealed so they're gonna take out the clips in your hair those little clips that are holding up to give you volume and they're gonna run their fingers on your scalp they shouldn't be of course spreading out your hair they're not going to be doing that they're going to put their fingers in your scalp and kind of release the curls because your hair is going to feel like a solid chunk of product and you're going to be like what is going on this is my hair is so just together so they're going to run their fingers through your hair and release your hair and get it so that it's fun and your curls are just lively they're just good they're going to release your curls in a sense and this is where you can look around your hair, let it flow, crunch up if you want to do some more scrunching, do your hair as if you were a regular day. And let them know if you see any extra pieces hanging down, they're going to check too. If you have any parts that are maybe just a little bit too long for you, if it's not the, you know, some, if something's, anything's wrong, let them know. And of course dry cutting is awesome because they can just cut it right then and you'll see exactly what you're at. So let them know if there are any pieces that are just not what you're looking for or if anything's wrong. And that is honestly everything that a diva cut is. It's dry cutting, it's getting that good wash, getting that good set with your hair and then fluffing it up and making sure any pieces are left over. But that is all you should expect from a diva cut. It's a little bit more of a process than a regular cut. But it's awesome because you're going to get the result that you really are looking for and your hair is going to look amazing. It's, you're going to notice a difference if you've seen any or if you follow any 
um, people on Instagram, their full before and afters. Um, if you do the hashtag, I believe, Diva Curl or Diva Cut, you're going to see on Instagram, you're going to see before and afters that are amazing. So if you are thinking about getting a Diva Cut, if it's on your mind, do it. You will expect a difference. I hope this video was helpful for you in hopefully getting some more information about what a Diva Cut is. And I will link that Diva Cut curl stylist finder down below for you so you can go ahead and check out and see if someone is close by in your area and you can get your first diva cut. Of course all this information is from my experience so I'm not a professional hair cutter but I've gotten my hair cut for many many years um, with a diva cut and I've loved every experience from it so I hope this was helpful for you. If you have any questions be sure to let me know down below. You can also connect with me on Facebook. I have a Facebook page uh, Twitter and Instagram. I will link everything down below for you, so be sure to reach out to me on those. As always, I would love it if you guys would subscribe, and it would let you know when I release any new videos. Bye!